All right, welcome. We're doing some upgrades on our autoclave today. Uh, this is the autoclave cart. It is on wheels. It rolls into our Beta Star 3x2x4 uh, interior dimension autoclave that's fired by our Hearst boiler. Um, a couple of pointers that I found that worked really well for the shelving uh, aluminum, and then I had it broke right here. It's at like a one degree angle, not even, so it's kind of it's kind of like that, right? And then for the height adjustments, these little brackets are great on Unistrut. Um, so that way you can totally adjust the height. Another good pointer is we were running into bags breaking that when you have them sitting, the plastic bag sitting on here with a tuck underneath, this lets it perfectly seal to where it can't suck air in and out, which is what you want during an autoclave cycle. I got frog mats. I think it's like frog mats dot com or something like that look them up it's a company you can message him directly and have him custom size it for you and what it does is it gives it like a waffle iron kind of uh, impression on the bottom which allows air to channel through the bag uh, today what we're doing is we, we've been uh, safety wiring the cage on and it works but then they always break over time just because the the tension load of the bags inside um, you can see we just put some new ones on here, but we're upgrading. So we're actually drilling and tapping out the aluminum and then putting little, um, little tiny little guys in here like this to hold the cage on. Um, and that's just so that the cage doesn't swell because when it does, it, it rubs on the inside of the autoclave and then we can't unload it and it's a pain in the butt to unload. So we're going to be doing like every other shelf is going to get one. And then the corners are going to get one and all that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This was all made by me. It's all just a Unistrut frame with some aluminum wheels. There aren't even bearings on it. It's just uh, wheels with a stainless steel bolt running through it. It's aluminum, aluminum rod that I cut down to size. And then it's running on uh, some track that I made adjustable. And actually Lucas made this, one of my employees from years and years past. Um, uh, who actually just got accepted for a PhD, so uh, PhD program. So yeah, uh, but this is the autoclave. I just wanted to show an update on the cart. It's not often that we have it out. Normally it's in there or in the lab. And uh, yeah, just doing a couple upgrades, tweaking it. And then uh, for the door, it just slides back here. If you haven't seen that before, it's just a, another panel that slides back there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, share the info. Uh, we're just reinforcing it and making it work a little bit better. If you need sterilized grain spawn or colonized grain spawn, hit up MyersMushrooms.com for your in-stock mushroom supplies. Take it easy and keep on mushrooming.